All right, this is weird. Okay, this is uh, this is weird how this works. I, I you know, and it's, all, it's hard to stop looking at, and it's just kind of fun to look at. But again, scientific notation, we do it to save space in books and to make the chances of errors less. In scientific notation, don't forget, when you have these numbers like, you know, 4.2 times 10 to the 18th power, I mean, that could be like the distance from the sun to, um, I don't know, uh, you know, some other star, like, you know, light year, billions and trillions of light years or whatever they are, okay? And the other one would be point, oh, what's this? You know, 4.9 times 10 to the negative 12th power, which is like, maybe it's like size of a bacterium or something like that or whatever. So um, we don't, you know, it's much easier to mess with them using scientific notation. But look at this. You tell me the answer to this. What's 40 times 20? 800, right? Four times two is eight, two zeros, okay? How about this one? 300 times 300? That's gonna be nine, how many zeros? Four zeros total, how about this one? 5,000 times 10,000. Five times one, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that answer is 50 million, which is about, that's as much money I make is about, about a year and a half. It takes me a couple of years to make that, so. Okay, all right. Here's what's weird. We know the answer is this, right? Now, how do you write the factors and the answer both in scientific notation? In other words, how do you write 40 in scientific notation? You would go like this. You'd go, that's four times 10 to the first, right? 10 to the first is just 10, right? Four times 10 is 40, okay? Then you'd go, okay, I'm gonna multiply this, because I, oops, I did, um, 40 already. 20, of course, would just be 2 times 10 to the first power, right? And 800, you tell me, how do you write 800 in scientific notation? The decimal's right here, right? So you go over twice, that's going to be 8 times 10 to the second, right? Okay, keep that in mind. I'm going to come back to it, all right? Here's another one. 300 times 300 is 90,000. We just did that, right? So how do you write 300 in scientific notation? You're gonna go three times 10 to the second and times, again, three times 10 to the second. <clears throat> That's gonna equal 90,000 in scientific notation. The decimal's right here, right? So one, two, three, four, nine times 10 to the fourth. Now look at that for a second. Interesting, huh? Let's do one final one. All right, 5,000, 10,000, the answer is 50 million. My annual salary. Okay, 5,000, there's the decimal, Yoop. there we go. Five times 10 to the third, times 10,000, and then there we go, and then that's gonna be one times 10 to the fourth, okay. And of course, the decimal is here. It's way on over. There's three over, six over, and then one more over, seven over. So that'll be five times 10 to the seventh. All right, look at that. You tell me what the rule is turning out to be. What's the rule? I'm assuming you said the rule. Okay, anytime you see something like this, you don't have to sit there and go through all this rigmarole and turn this into a you know numeral and then turn it back and then make it, you know, no. You just gotta go this times this is that, and then that number plus that number is that number with a 10 to the whatever power. There you go. Look at the, look at the last one here. We got three times three is nine. We got a two plus two is four. And look at this first one. We got four times two is eight, and a one plus a one is two, and there you go, dollars to it, okay? So we can do this, and again, look at this stuff. I mean, listen, you, you, you're gonna be so happy. When you're taking some chemistry class or biology class, you know, the kids are going, yeah, I can't, I'm not scientific, yeah, calculator, yeah. Yeah, you got it. You don't even need a calculator. It probably, in fact, the calculator probably mess you up. It'd be, it'd be harder with a calculator than it is to do this right here. So don't even think about it. You know how to add numbers. You know how to multiply numbers. Just do it. Okay, here we go. Same principle, right? Well, on this one, they go four times 10 to the fifth times two times 10 to the, uh, you know, forget it. It's easy. I got four times two, eight. 
I got 10 to the something power. Well, you tell me, what is five plus negative two? In other words, five minus two, three, yoink. That's it, you're done. By the way, if anybody wants to know what the actual number is, you can look at it and go, oh, 10 to the third power, 10 times 10 times 10, 1,000, 8,000. That's my answer. The teacher goes, yes, here's $1,000 for yourself. Okay, all right. Might work with mom and dad if you try it. Okay, I get 10%. Okay, here's another one. Three times 10 to the eighth times three times 10 to the third. Well, you know, there we go. Three times three, nine. 10 to the eighth times 10 to the third, 10 to the 11th. There we go. You can stop right there. That's a gigantic number. Here's another one. Four times 10 to the negative six times 6.2. Okay, whatever. All right. Well, let's do this. There's one slight uh, little tiki part on this one. Four times 6.2, you might just go over here and do 6.2 times four, and you'd go, okay, I got it. 24.8 times 10 to the something. Okay, so 10 to the negative six times 10 to the positive four, negative six plus four, Okay, six minus four, two, uh, this, uh, absolute value four, okay, negative two, I got it, okay. Only one little problem in that one. The numeral 24.8 is not between one and 10. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to fix this thing, okay? So what we'll do is we'll go, okay, we're gonna move this decimal over one time to make this between one and 10. 2.48 is between one and 10. And since we're actually multi or dividing by 10, this part, to even things out, we're gonna multiply by 10 on this part, okay? So in other words, we're taking this 10 to the negative two, and we're multiplying by 10 to the positive one. So we're gonna add this time a negative two and a positive one, and that'll give us negative one instead. And there you go. And that's about as hard as it's gonna get for a while, okay? So we, this is one of those things that Saxon does again in Algebra 1 and again in Algebra 2, and it you know, just keeps going. So, all right. Okay, try page 241 on the practice problem and see what you get. All right. Okay, well, let's uh, go with the first one here. Um, 4 times 2 is 8. 10 to the negative 4 plus 14 is 10. And there you go. That's it. Okay, let's pause it and try B. Okay, well, you know, same thing. Three times three is nine. And it'd be 10 to the six plus negative two, which is four. There you go, okay. Pause it and try C. All right, you, I mean, you could probably do this in your head. Two times 2.1, that's 4.2. All right, I got 10 to the 10, uh, three, 13. There you go, dollar is to it. Okay, give the last one a whirl. And on the last one, think about it before you say, this is your final answer. Okay, do something to it, okay, go ahead. Okay, four times three is 12. I got 10 to the negative five, negative eight, negative five plus negative eight is negative 13. Now, one thing, that number is not between one and 10. The decimal is right there the way it is. It needs to go right here. Okay, so that's gonna be 1.2, that's good. It's between one and 10. So it'll be 10 to the something power. Okay, what we've done though, is we have divided by 10 to make this part, okay? You don't just go around dividing a number by 10 and going, it's the same number, you know? Imagine getting paid $800 for you know, work and then your boss goes, I'm gonna divide that by 10. It's the same number, you, you know, you'd be arrested for murder the next day or something. So anyway, okay, so you divide this part by 10, which means you need to multiply this part over here by 10 to make things even out, right? So you're gonna multiply this part by 10. You can do it in your head if you want. But 10 to the negative 13th, times 10 to the positive first, you just go negative 13 plus one. That'll be negative 12. And there you go. That's it, piece of cake. Okay, all right. See you guys next time. Work on those and uh, have a great day.